Woo! It's electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. Everyone hates Tesla. It's electric. We back in the building for another one. The truth about working with Elon. See, more employees are going to tell you how it is. You guys got to watch it. Don't click off the video because it's better than everything else. Let's jump right into the video and get active here at Obstacles Opportunity. Everyone hates Tesla. It's electric. I got to put the volume. You really need to be inspired by more than just the job that they're doing on a day-to-day -day basis, but why they're doing it. Those are the people that are called to the mission and, and will stay with the company and help it to succeed. I think you'll find the majority of people that have, have worked definitely at Tesla, and I would assume probably at SpaceX, to say, like, he asks us to do the impossible. Um, but it's only unattainable until you attain it, right? He gets up every morning thinking, what can I do for humanity today? Let's talk about it. He gets up every morning talking about what I could do for humanity every day. What do you guys wake up every day doing? I'm about to speak real. I'm about to speak from the soul on this one, guys. Most of you guys are very selfish. Every day you wake up, you worry about what you can do for yourself. That's number one. Maybe number one would be your children or your wife or your husband. But that's it. You don't worry about the world as a whole for the most part. Let's be honest. Let's take out the BS, the bad science. And then the facts of the matter is you make all types of excuses that you don't have time to focus on politics or focus on your own community. You haven't rebuilt any abandoned homes within your community. You haven't contributed to the housing affordability efforts. You haven't done anything. And most of the time, you're focused on your own goals your own accomplishments, and your own woes. You're the top 10% of the entire planet as an American citizen, but you steady complaining about wanting more money, wanting more services, wanting more health care, wanting this, wanting that, asking the world to do for you, and you don't even wake up on a daily basis and ask what you can do for the world. So let's be honest and let's stop playing games. When someone like Elon Musk risk everything, his awakened hours, all the time, energy, money, and attention he has, it's all invested in SpaceX or Tesla and changing humanity and establishing thousands upon a hundred thousands of jobs, directly and indirectly. You have to ask yourself, is there a system of hierarchy and who's more important than this? I'm not being nice or politically correct with this. Elon is at top. Elon is important. And Elon sacrifice, you make no sacrifices. The only sacrifice you make is for people you share blood with, but everybody else, the heck with. And that shows on your daily actions where Elon Musk does more for your children than you do. And I know that's going to make you boil. Come at me in the comment section and we could talk at it. Now let's get back in the video. It's electric. How can I do something that will be impactful to humanity of the future? That's what, he, that's what he's focused on. If you look at who the most famous human being in all of human history is, I can tell you who that is, yeah, but I can't tell you what their name is. I can't tell you what sex the, 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 the person is, but I can tell you it's going to be the first human born on another planet like Mars, right? So this vision is what drives Elon. There were things that would come out of his mouth and words that he would say to people that under any amount of stress were not okay. Under any amount of stress, this is where we got somebody who's a softy come into play. Like, it's okay. Like, get tough skin, get in the military. This is the real world. Talking about words, grow up, lady. He was more erratic. I can count three times that he got really upset with me. And the last time he was yelling at me about a mistake that someone on my team made. Um, and he was really angry. And there was a disconnect. I wasn't seeing Elon. I was seeing this person being overtaken by this anger. Oh, ghost. An evil person, ooh, a demon possessed Elon. 
He yelled at me. <laughs> Yo, man, normies, bro. <laughs> The Elon got mad. <laughs> and they put in the creepy music too. You got yelled at, lady? Really? It was so bizarre and kind of the blink of an eye, I saw him snap out of it and recognize that it was me and it was fine. And he apologized to me the next day. Um, but it was in that moment that I decided. I've hit my limit and it is time to go. It's oh my gosh, yes. Whew. Oh my gosh, lady. Wow. Oh wow, you got yelled at. Whew. You had to get out of there. There's troops dying on the front lines. I mean, there's people sacrificing their life to stop human trafficking in the world, but you got yelled at by Elon. He got mad once. Oh my gosh. There's undercovers that are out in the field with cartels and watching people get dismembered. And then you, above all that, with the trauma that you've been through, because Elon got mad and he apologized, but it was the following day. You had to leave because regardless of what happens, is there's nothing in the world that erases yelling. Oh, my God. She needs reparations, guys. Oh, my God. It's a combination of he doesn't realize quite what the impact of his words are going to be in a lot of cases. And in a lot of other cases, I just don't think he cares. Facts, because I don't care neither. Big homie, Elon Musk. If you don't like what I said, unsubscribe, you normie. He wants to be known as the greatest engineer that we have seen in our lifetimes. He genuinely wants to move humankind forward, and he wants us to challenge ourselves. That is a more exciting future for humankind from his standpoint than one where we are forever anchored to Earth. And forever crying about yelling. No question he's going to go to Mars. Why do you think he's doing the Boring Company? You're doing the Boring Company, he's going to send one up there so he can bore underground and you can have some shade. He's, he's, why do you think he's doing electric? It's because you can use solar up there in Mars and you can solar to battery, battery to vehicle, battery to home. Why do you think he's doing that? Because you got to have that. You can't go up there and plug something in. There's a much bigger picture in, in Elon's mind than what mere mortals are aware of today. But when you step back and you look at it, some way or another, it all goes together. He learned everything about Tesla, Einstein. Like he has learned everything that they knew and he's trying to take it to the next level. So I think he is the closest thing that we have to that kind of a figure in our day and age. He's better for sure, for sure. And I think by the time he is done building his legacy, it will be unquestionable that he is a combination of Einstein, Tesla and Rockefeller. I said that. I told you guys that Tesla, Einstein, and Rockefeller, they added those in, but I add those in. W. Bowen, like, come on. Henry Ford, JP Morgan. When you set out to do something incredibly hard, there's going to be like a lot of hard days that go along with that. There's parts of him that you'll never know, like what motivates him. How did he get so strong of will? Yeah. But what I can say without a doubt is he's genuine. There, like, there is not a shred of doubt in my mind. There isn't an ulterior motive or a secret greedy, you know, I'm gonna have my, you know, Volcano Island and do whatever. Like, no, he, he, he leads with his heart on his sleeve in a very honest, I would say almost overly honest uh, projection of, of both opportunity and risk. To work at Tesla, I think- Opportunity and risk. And I say that most normies who say that actually are the ones that are dark. They're projecting their own insecurities. They're projecting their own intention because, you know, most normies go out through this day twisting doorknobs and doing nothing for nobody else but their family and maybe their kinfolk. But when it comes down to the macro of humanity, they do nothing for them, right? They don't serve, whether it's in the military or even the goddamn Peace Corps, they don't serve anything but themselves. And that's the facts. And so I can honestly say that the people who decide to serve the majority and decide to serve humanity, I'm going to say that they're different, right? And I'm going to say they're important. And if you get mad about it because you're a normie, 
packing fan and want to be held up to the same standard of Elon Musk, then I'm not going to allow it. I wouldn't even do that for myself. I love my life. But I understand in the macro of the impact and the legacy, in the macro of efficiency, in the macro of who's valuable and creates a massive amounts of value that transforms millions of billions of lives, it's Elon Musk and not me, not O2O. And I don't have no ego in that to the point where I'm like, no, I'm just a four and all my human stages. And then, nah, shoot, Elon Musk, for sure, for sure. Let's read one comment and then we'll get out of here. Visible, his armor is gigantic. Admiration, rare, on those who have the courage to face the world. He is a mix of a new Noah of our times with David. I know he doesn't like to be recognized like this, but he certainly has supernatural energy. Much admiration for his this extraordinary man. And guys, you can be an extraordinary man. And I hope that us in America, in America, continues to be a country which we deserve a character like Elon Musk. Sometimes I question myself, is people who are crying about getting yelled at once out of almost how many years, or maybe three times, out of how many years, never acceptable yelling? That is human nature. It will happen, especially out of 30 years. So net net. Did you apologize and did you make men's? Then it's completely okay in the balance of things. And especially considering the pressures that we have. But you're too lighthearted to be involved in such events and forging the forefront of what we're going to do in humanity as a whole. So get out the way. Move. Get out the way. Get out the way. Get out the way. Elon Musk needs employees like me. Shout outs to everybody. Everyone hates Tesla again. Everyone, he's a demon. Watch out. <laughs> it's electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. Hit the like, share, subscribe, and notification bell. Now, you might not share this one because it might hurt a couple of people's tenderoni heart. Peace. Don't care.